Hey guys, Jesse Razzle here once again. Uh, just finishing up on a project with one of our customers and I wanted to share it with you. I'm going to talk with you today about the local marketing toolkit and the technology stack that you get inside the local marketing toolkit. You know, uh, I want you to be conscious of your web infrastructure. I want you to understand how performance, security, and optimization work together. So what I'm going to do is uh, I'm just going to take you through one of our customers. We're going to, we're going to talk with you a little bit about our uh, environment, both for, for production, performance, and then also optimization for local marketing, and talk with you how they all play together. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through uh, kind of a time lapse. I'm going to finish up uh, some of the development on this site, and then I'm going to deploy our, um, our performance, security, uh, and optimization package uh, and technology stack on the website. So if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you're looking for a lot of great information, um, grab a pen and paper. Again, this is going to be uh, packed full of information. You're going to have to take notes fast. Uh, I will try to leave some links in the description of this video, but in case I miss anything, make sure that you take notes. Uh, I'll take you through via time lapse how to deploy a technology stack on a WordPress site to dominate your local market. So uh, the website that I'm going to be working on is one of our new customers. We're just buttoning it up. Um, we've already deployed the WordPress framework. We've also deployed uh, our uh, content management system uh, through Elegant Themes, which is called uh, Divi, which is the theme that we utilize on the majority of our websites. Uh, we do sacrifice some performance in regards to the Divi Builder because uh, what we do is we trade that off um, for the ease of development. We can quickly and easily develop web pages and test those. If you're uh, in the marketing industry or if you're marketing, being able to rapidly test the market is incredibly important. So we wanted to make sure that we had a theme and a development tool um, that we could rapidly develop landing pages. And then once we determine whether or not those offers were effective, be able to integrate them into our offers very quickly and easily. So uh, I'm going to talk with you a little bit about that process. Uh, again, it's going to be time lapse. So I'm not going to be doing much talking during the video. But what I'll do is at the end of the video, I'll uh, plug back in. We'll... Uh, discuss what we did and some of the different points uh, how we did the deployments and then also the uh, technology stack I'll discuss that in a little bit more detail so grab a pen and paper and enjoy the rapid presentation hey guys I fibbed a little I'm gonna do a little bit of a voiceover in regards to the presentation hopefully this works out Never done it this way before, but uh, it's all about trying new things, right? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through the process, talk with you a little bit about our technology stack inside the WordPress environment. Of course, we utilize WordPress as our framework, and uh, then we build from there. And uh, we utilize Elegant Themes and Divi, their Divi uh, development tool, in order to rapidly deploy uh, new pages on our customer sites and also on our internal sites. So. Uh, from a start, uh, we start off with the WordPress environment. We utilize Divi, and there's a couple of different reasons for that. And some people have different uh, opinions in regards to what to utilize and what not to utilize. The reason that we utilize WordPress is because it's used by hundreds of millions of people out there. You can host your WordPress site with any provider. If you're utilizing like Google CMS or Content Management System, uh, Hibu, Wix, uh, Square, some of the other providers out there that actually give you a website inside of their content management system, uh, you can't port that out of their environment. So if you want to move providers or you're not happy with them for some, uh, some reason, a lot of times it can be challenging in order to get your website back. So it's incredibly important to understand that, uh, understand why we utilize WordPress is because we're not uh, siloed into one provider or another. What we do is we utilize tools in order to deliver a solution and that solution has been the best uh, for us. So uh, in addition to that, we utilize Divi. We, we actually give up some performance uh, with the Divi environment because it doesn't perform as well um, as far as paid speed load times or uh, page, lo speed, page load speed times. And uh, that can hurt your overall performance. Um, but what we lose in performance, we make up in our development time and we're able to go out there and rapidly deploy new landing pages very quickly. We're actually able to deploy and test the market more quickly. So it's important to understand why we are doing what it is that we're doing and the reasons behind that and the arguments behind that. Because I know a lot of people out there that argue, 
um, that they want to, you know, host your websites at a certain location or they want to utilize um, or program your website from scratch so it performs better. Well, until, you know, 100 million people stop using WordPress, we're probably going to continue to utilize the WordPress environment and continue to build sites as fast as we possibly can in WordPress that are optimized for local search. So it may change. Uh, we're staying agile. We're open-minded. We're not so ego-driven that um, we believe that our solution is the end-all be-all. We're just committed to learning and educating ourselves on a daily basis. And we go out there and do that as uh, much as we possibly can. So um, that's the reason we utilize WordPress uh, framework. And then uh, also uh, the Divi um, development tool uh, through Elegant Themes and uh, something that you should consider if you are interested in building out your environment and making it readily uh, available for marketing purposes um, and also um, readily available for optimization. So I'm going to take you through our uh, technology stack and our premium plugin stack that we provide through our local marketing toolkit. Talk with you a little bit about that. Um, what it is that we deploy because we do deploy a security plugins. We uh, we utilize a Windows firewall, firewall, and CDN on the back end. We also deploy caching software through WP Admin and then uh, image optimization on all of our sites. Uh, so it's important to understand that if you're a do-it-yourselfer and you're looking for ways to optimize the environment, this is a good way to do it. So as you can see here, we're just buttoning up the uh, development process in regards to the landing page. This is going to be our first landing page for the Indy area for Kilodent Repair. Um, we're going to bid out a, just a simple call to action, um, save on your dent repair needs. Um, we're going to target this, build out the content based off of uh, ding and dent repair. Um, of course, uh, this provider does uh, hail repair as well. Um, but this landing page will be specific to saving on your dent repair. Uh, we're going to provide some clear messaging, call to action, make it really clear and specific, and uh, we'll just make sure that everything looks good. And, um, you know, yeah, we have some of those things that uh, we need in order to convert um, some business. You know, a nice little sales video there with call to action, um, a discount, maybe some coupons, of course, some um, social proof on there with some uh, customer referrals or customer reviews. Um, and what I'm going to do now is I'm going to get into the actual uh, WordPress technology stack and some of the plugins that we utilize. And uh, we'll talk with you a little bit about those. There are a couple of different things that we utilize. First and foremost, uh, we utilize the uh, WP Rocket caching plugin. Uh, what that does is it actually integrates with our back end. We utilize a CDN through security content distribution network, which replicates the websites across servers. Um, so that if people access your website, they're actually accessing a cache version of it. It improves performance and uh, page speed load times. Um, and then it also integrates with our firewall, our web firewall. And uh, gives us the ability to prevent any type of security threats or issues. Because WordPress sites are built on you know, a framework that's readily available. And there are some vulnerabilities in there. So if you are run running WordPress, you want to make sure... Uh, that you go out there and you make sure that it's secure. Uh, additionally, as you can see here, I'm loading up the Pixel My Site Pro uh, WordPress plugin that gives us the ability to deploy a Facebook Pixel and then go out there and um, track our activity on our site. So we can track people who land on specific pages, take specific actions, and then we can go into Facebook and create custom lists uh, based off of those people and if we get some uh, profiles going we can actually create what's called look-alike lists on there as well additionally we usually utilize the image image fi um, plugin in order to optimize all the images on the website so we can cache those images images are a huge burden on the server so we want to make sure that all of our images are on there for all your pdr guys that are lo loading these huge images on your sites it's important to understand that those images need to be optimized so that they load quickly uh, and or that they um, are on lazy load or don't load with the initial web site uh, so that you can optimize that. Uh, additionally, I'm going through, as you can see here, the WordPress rocket setup. Uh, and this is all of our caching, file optimization, our integrations with our CDN, our web firewall, all those things uh, we do through the uh, WP rocket plugin. And uh, this is a premium plugin that we've had a lot of success with. 
you know, we'll see a tremendous amount of page speed uh, improvements, um, uh, you know, across the board. So this is an important plugin to get installed and configured correctly. Uh, you might have to slow down the video in order to get access to that. Um, it also caches all of our, uh, you know, CSS files and then our sitemaps and things of that nature. We can set up pre pre page load links in there as well. So if we're utilizing third party applications, we can go out there, make sure that those load um, before the website uh, actually loads or are cached in people's browsers. So we don't have to load those every time people come to the site, which in dramatically improves the uh, page speed load times. Uh, which is important if you're talking about local search uh, you get penalized for having slow websites uh, that's one of the things that we do with our website audit is we make sure that the websites are performing well uh, and then we start to deploy our premium plugin stack on top of that so incredibly important um, and if you go through here as you can see we're going through the setup of you know pretty much everything the facebook pixel the uh, wordpress rocket we're image uh, optimiz optimizing uh, going through and optimizing all our theme files and uh, optimizing all of our site images. Um, and then the last thing that I think we're going to do is uh, just make sure that we have our pixels set up and that the page are, all the pages are still working. Um, we're utilizing the Yoast Premium Plugin uh, for SEO. Uh, what this does is it automatically configures all of our pages in order to rank higher. Um, it, creates indexing um, and reports to the search engines. So we want to make sure that we have our SEO dialed in as well um, and also report all of our different uh, social media profiles and things of that nature. So we're utilizing this tool in order to report all of our social media, structure all of our pages for search optimization and to uh, make sure that we index and report that information to Google, Yahoo and Bing and some other uh, search engines out there that are uh, international as well. So. It's important because all these things work together in order to um, serve your con, you know, your company information, serve your web pages, and things of that nature. Um, and we make sure that they're all tied together uh, for our customers in the local marketing toolkit and some of our other products and services as well. So uh, you don't have to be subscribed to the local marketing toolkit to gain access to a lot of these tools. You can buy them ad hoc if the toolkit's too expensive for you. Um, but if you are in the toolkit, I would encourage you to stay there and uh, to continue to grow with us. So uh, that about does it, and we hope you enjoyed the presentation. All right, guys, so that was the short and skinny in regards to our technology stack. Let me talk you through this real co real quickly. Um, you know, first and foremost, we deployed some caching software for the, so for the website, making sure that we had uh, all the required information that we need on the website from a caching standpoint. Uh, we also utilize a CDN and a web firewall in order to increase the amount of security. So that's deployed on the server side. And uh, of course, uh, on the website side, we use WP Rocket or WordPress Rocket in uh, ImageFi uh, in order to optimize images and also cache the coding on the site. So if you're a Word WordPress guy and you're looking to do it yourself, those are some, all, some really good, great programs. Um, software plugins that we've vetted over the years and have been very helpful for us. Um, so it's incredibly important that you do get those deployed. Some other things that we do, uh, of course, is Pixel Your Site. We like to utilize Pixel Your Site Pro, which is a premium plugin, part of our uh, technology stack, in order to deploy pixels and then track events on the website. So we can track pretty much anything um, and create custom lists on Facebook for marketing purposes. So uh, that's the reason that we deploy Pixel Your Site Pro. Um, and then, of course, we utilize uh, Google Remarketing and uh, the Google Tag Manager in order to deploy uh, tags for Google Search, Google uh, Display, and then also YouTube advertising um, on the site. So a couple of different things. I didn't take you through the tag update. I'm going to save that for another training. Uh, it's another kind of entailed process where you deploy the Google Tag Manager on the site itself. And then you utilize that in order to manage all the tags that you utilize through Google, like Google Analytics, um, ad tracking, uh, and all the different types of tag remarketing and all that kind of stuff. So a lot of stuff to take on board. Uh, again, uh, hopefully you enjoyed the presentation, enjoyed the information in regards to how to set up uh, the environment and how to optimize it for local search. And then inevitably, some of the technology stack that we deploy 
for all of our customers on the local marketing toolkit. So if you have any questions, go ahead and leave those in the comment box. We'll be uh, happy to answer those for you. Let us know what you thought, depending on where you watch this. Uh, if you're on Facebook, of course, make sure that you go over to Razor Sharp Networks on YouTube and uh, subscribe there. We provide some exclusive content through there. And uh, if you're not part of our Facebook group, The Local Marketing Hacks, I'd encourage you to uh, sign up for that. Um, we provide some really great content through there and ongoing coaching in order to help promote your local business uh, and or professional organization uh, to your local market. So um, I guess until the next time we speak, I want to uh, come over here to my controls so you can see me fully and uh, you get this on board. It's Thursday and we hope that you make today, today and every day a fantastic day. We'll talk with you real soon.